Hey guys, what's a happening? Figured I'd show you my new Halloween prop for 2023. Try to do one every year. This one is a half coffin, as you can see. Uh, skeleton stands behind it. There's going to be one sitting inside of it, uh, just chilling. And this is my new controller box, uh, the one I showed the last video I have. Uh, that box is full. No more room. But anyways, um, second control panel, control box, whatever you want to call it. Looks just like the other one. Let me show you what I got in here. So, I always keep my instructions in here. Uh, pressures, I've got more to write on here, but what goes to where, where goes to what. Set this down. Okay, so there's my new peekaboo. See what? Hang on, let me turn. Turn some light on. So, new peekaboo. Uh, set up the same way as the other ones. Got two AC outlets coming out. Um, one goes down here over to the air valve uh, pressure regulator which she set on 50 so 50 psi is what I run on this um, that's the power for the peekaboo the black cord uh, then you got two outlets coming out um, for lights you can see one is lit up constantly the other one this one only comes on when the when the scare happens um, but that's why I have um, both AC outlets and then one has uh, two cords coming off of this one uh, so I can run a light and the scare at the same time works pretty good anyways um, let me put this back on here I'll show you the prop so let's take a look at the mechanics oh I see so air cylinder down here air hoses go in it's a two-way cylinder, so it pressurizes up and down. Um, basically, a pretty simple scissor mechanism. And then uh, the violence that these skeletons go through on these things, um, I bolt them to the frames and through their spine. You can see through there. Um, that's the only way I've found to do these. Any other way, uh, it just ends up breaking the plastic snaps rips zip ties don't hold up um, so I found just drilling straight through the spine and running bolts through it works the best that's what a lot of my skeletons how they're attached to the uh, props anyways let's uh, I'll activate this thing here for you let's see get back far enough here I'll tell you what let's do this oh there we go okay here we go Now it does have a scream sound when the skeleton pops up. Uh, I just don't have any audio hooked up right now, but it will it will scream at you uh, when it pops up. Okay, so and then let's take a look. We'll watch the mechanics back here if you're interested in that. So, simple momentary push button. Uh, I did this for a reason, so I've got maybe, I think at least two more peekaboos I'm going to do on this box between next year, maybe the year after. Um, so just like the other box, we'll have another peekaboo, another peekaboo, um, two or three or four more air valves, um, and then this box will be full. So, But that's why it looks the way it does now. It looks... It looks weird, uh, but I'm leaving room for improvement and more to come. So, but figured I'd show you. Oh, here I'll show you the. So when you trigger, you can see the light turns on when he comes out. So that's actually going to uh, spotlight the skeleton that pops up, and make it a little more scary. Cool guys, happy Halloween.